sometimes matchups don't quite matter as much as individual players do. Yeah, I th I personally think that matchups, of course, matter, but that they matter. Like it's like this this like graph, right? Where when you're a newer player, matchups matter a lot. Yeah. Because you're doing you're all kind of like doing the same kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, it's Fish Bait. That's who it is. Yes, Fish Bait. I believe is Colorado. If I'm not mistaken. I love just saying things that I'm not sure about. Yeah. Oh, just wait, getting no, called out. Oh, oh gets the rest snuck out. under him. I'll look it up for you. That was actually a sick rest setup too. So uh, Layton came up with high bear. Okay. Uh, fish bait dis it in, and then Layton just fades under him on the yeah. di in and gets the up bear into the setup. At low percentages, you can catch other floaties uh, holding in a lot as puff and on a bear and sneak in underneath that. That's cool. And fish bait not in the end. not in this book. Unfortunate. Unfortunately, not in our book of stats. And the player cams and names are backwards as well, so just clear that. Yeah, but not off to a great start in a Ooh. matchup that's already not the greatest for you. No. I wish I knew more about the matchup itself, too, because, like, people... Oh, <laughs> that was actually filthy. That was really good. Damn. Uh, Leighton DIing out of the dare in the wrong way, but Fish Paint capitalized perfectly. Well, a lot of it is, like, the air-to-air -air where Peach typically shines so well. Suddenly, Puff just like beats you out because the the air mobility, the right? air mobility, right? Yeah, yeah, like you yeah. can drift in and out a little bit better, and you've got like hitboxes that are faster and they last or um, they they go a lot further. Um, conversely, Peach does is able to as long as you know you can land your hits on Puff, you're able to find a lot of space to pull a fair amount of turnups. Yeah, that's where the matchup can be okay. The trouble is just creating that space initially because yeah. once you start to like get turnups and like hit them away and create a little bit of space yeah. it becomes easier to continue to do it yeah but if the puff is um holding a really tight spacing and like really applying the pressure yeah. then that those turnups do become difficult mm -hmm. Ooh, okay i fish bait is i mean he's he's looking for every spot he can to try to find it and puff is getting close to ko percentage from up there too right uh, Peach Upper are going to be one of the better options to get the KOs on Puff. Oh, wow. That's off so the good. Oh, my off God. That was really good. Damn. All the way back. Fish me with the lead here. Yeah. After that huge rest. Yeah. Oh, my God. With yeah. the lead after getting rested on the yeah. first stock, too. That's big. That's very, very big. Impressive. All right. But you still feel pretty good uh, in your position here if you're fish bait. Don't feel too bad. Because the game plan that you're... Uh, doing is working out really well. Like he's getting a lot of turnips. He's yeah. getting a ton of turnips and he's capitalizing off them. The cool thing about that fair right too, right there too, is he can go for the turnip regrab instead of that fair, right? You can right. do turnip regrab, fade back, throw it again, or you can get aggressive with the fair. He's he's got mix ups once you have the turnip out too. You see him you see him landing hits off those mix ups. Yeah. Oh Okay, avoids the up air. Yeah. And he's avoiding all these backers very, very well. I, I gotta say, Leighton has to be really careful on the side plats because that's where he's been getting punished. Mm -hmm. uh, both up airs have come off side plat, plat up airs. Both, both KOs for Fish Bait have come off side plat up airs, I should say. Right. Um, especially off the turn up. Oh, okay. The lower, lower angle pounds there not working out. He's gotta be a little bit more careful. Oh! Oh, man, that's scary. Barely. That's scary for Puff. Not getting these back air strings too. Uh, Fishbait doing a really good job DIing each of these back airs. Yeah, yeah. That fair is gonna start KOing real quick. That one might have KO'd if it wasn't all the way across the stage. So sneaking under yet again. So willing to just throw those up airs out to trade. Yeah. And yeah. Fishbait has gained percentage after each stock as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Started behind. He was at 150 on the last one, and now 90 only after that. Too, yeah. So. I think he's got to he's got to really watch out for these up airs when he's at death percent because those trades really don't work out well for you as no. well. Terribly. Buff, of course, also has a decent uh, KO up air. Ooh. Yeah. The, the full hit. But man, even getting like two hits, even if you get two hits in a row as Peach, that's brutal. It's massive. Fish made with like really good corner pressure here too. Yeah. Changing up his bear timing. Uh, bear definitely one of the better moves. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. That's, I think that poked. Yeah. How is he out bearing him? That's crazy. Now he can go for a lot of these trades too, right? He can be a little bit more aggressive if he chooses to do so. Oh man. Not gonna quite KO. Out right outside the range of the other two. Oh no. He's gonna, gonna live again. Oh my god. I mean, if you're gonna play the, the bear style, a lot of bears like this, you're, you'll get the KOs eventually, but the bear's not gonna be KOing until high Pretty percentages. Late. Pretty I mean, late. you know, 150, you might start seeing some KOs if you get it closer to the blast zone. 
Oh, wow. Dude, look at that. Wow. Zero percent. Every wow. sock he did better after yeah. getting rested on the first one. Yeah. Highly impressive from Fishbane. Yeah. Lady taking a deep breath. He wasn't in any kind of position to get rested again. Granted, it is a no. little bit harder to uh, get rest on uh, uh, Peach, especially with when the percents aren't there. You have to do it at low percents to get those setups either with up or up air. But yeah, he kind of just played around that very well. Oh my God, he <laughs> he read that roll. Did you read the roll? Yeah. Oh my God, that was so good. That's so scary for Puff too, because anytime I see a Puff get down smashed, I'm like, please shield break. Yeah. I just want to see one shield break on Puff, just because I think it looks so funny. We haven't seen it even like once though, and the shield goes down to like a little, little tiny, guy. tiny little. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was so close. Yeah, especially with the turn up hitting him and forcing him towards the direction there, he may have been able to get it. But you've had to have some quick reactions to get that kind of rest. Dude, already fish bait. Oh no! Oh, he gets it. There it is. Didn't get the regrab. Doesn't get the. But still, that's, that's so brutal. good. That's He's great. at sixty percent. Oh man, Layton's late, fishing for rest big time now. I don't know if he can really get it though, unless you get like a like a falling up air along with with the rest of it. I still, I, I think it's the the percents are not there. That was how he opened the set. Right. Yeah. And I gotta say that's maybe only the third time that Layton's gone for empty land. Uh, to try to like grab a shielding peach or something. Fish bait each time has been on top of not getting tomahawk. Okay, that's what we need to see more of actually. Yeah. Uh, one of the ways H Fox has always done better in this matchup is that once he gets Peach off stage or in the corner, uh, he will take away recovery resources one at a time, mm -hmm. and then he'll get the earlier back air KOs because he'll be doing them so close to the blast. Zone. Right. He's all the way out there. Yeah. I, I want to see. Oh, Ooh. beautiful recognition. Yeah. One of the more restable moves. A lot of end lag frames on that, especially if Peach hits shield. Oh my oh god. Yeah, and it's crazy that he's going yeah. for the dash attack yeah. immediately <laughs> right after away. getting rested. <laughs> oh! <laughs> scary. Yeah, very, go. very scary. I, I kind of like that he's not changing it up too much, but that may not work out well later on. Yeah. yeah. We, we did see Leighton also go for drill um, earlier on Grounded Puff, and I do think that is going to be one of the better KO oh, is that KO? Did he that really KO. just KO. Got him. <laughs> Oh my he god! Got him. That was crazy. For how difficult this matchup could be, uh, Fishbait is doing a really good job at getting those uh, those like juicy, juicy KOs at the right percent and not letting it linger for longer than it needs to. Between like the up smash, between like the up airs, it's wild. They are chock full of juice. Yeah. Looking like the pomegranates I saw at the farmer's market this morning. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Actually, are pomegranates juicy? Oh, we got the bomb! Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, all right, all right. No. <laughs> oh. Throw this away. We got some juice in them. A lot of seeds. Yeah, the seeds are what, yeah, I'm always using Pomp seeds. Pomp seeds. I, so he's got a stitch and a bomb. So yeah, yeah, he, got a, he got a uh, dot eyes earlier, too. He Ooh. threw a dot eyes away as well. Dang. So he's getting... He's getting the turn. That'll, that'll happen when you have more opportunities to pull him. That's Not true. Not quite getting a KO. Got a, I think that was a soft hit. I okay. want to see Layton start to try to maybe attack Grounded Peach a little more with Drill. Drill up smash is another amazing KO tool. He's just got a throw line. Yeah, okay, this is the H-Box, right? Up air! Up air! Yes, there it is. Yeah. Awesome. Great with, setup. With all the jumps that you have, man, like, what can Peach really do if you cover all of that? It's tough. It's very it's tough. tough. It's tough. That's why we saw Fishbait, like, kind of uh, drop down in one of his recoveries, but Layton was able to punish that, too, with the back air. Layton's spacing is stepping up. Not going KO, yeah, yeah. 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 He was the one who started at a massive deficit this game, and now he's the one who's built this solid lead this yeah. morning. And any percentage he gets with this stock is all just juice. Oh, not barely. Quite. Great barely. DI. That was amazing DI. <laughs> it really was. Oh, oh, the turn of save. That back air, that low percent actually might have been able to link it to the upper rest. Just very scary. He goes for the drill setup oh. right there. That's the first neutral air. Nice. Ooh. Recognizing the shield being low there on the feet. This is great. Yeah, this is yeah. looking really good for late. Oh, okay. Gets the edge cancel, but doesn't seem to quite recognize it and do anything after. Okay. 
Yeah, not much in the way of uh, throw setups there on Peach's end, but he is reading the landing so well. He cannot oh, fall dude, for one. Okay, Fishbait's building a lot of percent. One more up I was, smash. I was starting to think about game three. Right. All of a sudden, Puff's at 70%. What an air dodge. If he reads another one of these landings with up smash, that A sweet spot up smash totally might KO. Oh, especially with the dash. Oh, do He's doing it again. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know if up air is going to KO, though. He's getting close. Good DI. Yeah, one more back air should do it. There yeah. we yeah. go. There we go. I, I like... Um, uh, oh my god, Leighton. <laughs> I told Leighton. Oh, I forgot okay, his dagger. I, I, I was going to say, I, I like Leighton going underneath the turn up there. Uh -huh. Throws out low bear. Uh, a lot of pups will do the double jump to try to you know catch like float or like, doing something in that situation. Right. He recognizes probably going to be a turn up throw, so he dips below. Okay. Turn up doesn't hit him. Right. He hits the falling peach. It, I mean, it's just nuances. It's, mm -hmm. it's the little thing of using the, the double jump. With the, or, I mean, Pop is like a million double yeah, jumps. Yeah, yeah, no, I know what you're the saying. The triple yeah. jump. Or the, the triple quad jump. Quad jump. <laughs> using, using a jump with yeah. the, the bear or just pulling with it. Uh, that's, those are the tiny mix-ups in matchups like this, like floater matchups. Or, uh, right. dot eyes. <laughs> and he re-grabs it. 16%. 16%? <laughs> oh, 33. Oh, that's so much. That's a lot. That's brutal. That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a test now. Oh, uh, nice. Those players are going to be KOing so early on the stage. He's been trying to get those roll reads off the uh, downer because you know he can't hard confirm it. But no, uh, Fishbait does not fall for it. He kind of just stays in the shield, which is good. Because Puff loves getting those roll read rests. Good spacing there. He's kind of a little bit more patient from both players. Wow, I can't believe he, got, he was able to re grab that turnip. That's crazy. It's awareness. Yeah. Oh, it's not going to KO. Jeez. Yo, he's made throughout the up air, too. We almost got a DBZ trade. I yeah, think no. soft hit up air at a hundo on this percent might actually end up KO. Yeah, on the stage, yeah. yeah. That worked out. All right. Gets the turnaround with the turn up to set up bear. Yeah. I oh, like oh, a lot. Oh! oh! But what punish is going to get? What's he going to do? I, uh, yeah. yeah, we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Not really sure what you can do there yeah. unless the turn up like, falls on you and you have the right timing. That's the Armada. That's punish. the Armada, yeah. yeah but exactly. that's, that's rough. Uh, yeah. But that's like one of the rest punishes I thought you would be able to get because the percents were right. It looked like maybe it was a little bit slow on it, but who knows. Yeah. I think he threw the turn up up and then realized it was going to hit the flat. And he was like, oh, I guess I'll just fair. Right. Yeah. Still a good percent. Okay. Even, whoever controls middle uh, mid stage here gets so much, right? Because they get, they're able to like follow the landing so well of their opponent. Yeah. It's not just like grounded middle too. It's like whoever's yeah. being able to put the aerials that cover the side plat approach. Yeah, yeah. Because that's yeah. where they're a lot of them. Like, consistently, they're both coming off. Like you see there, boom, side plat, fair. Right. Same yeah. with buff. They go side plat, and then they come down with the air to center, or they dip below side plat. Okay. Right. It's a lot about the side platform and being able to use it to your advantage to take. Right, that center stage. Not the best DI by Layton, but I don't know if anything would have saved him on that fair at 100. Not on this stage, yeah. This is a tight, tight oh, matchup. Oh, go! Oh, oh, nice. That was some no, pressure. That was pressure. some crazy so pressure. And then he gets the drill and up smash. Yeah, drill and up smash. I was yeah. talking about before. Good to see him convert at least one KO this set with that. Yeah. Clean oh. little air dodge to I avoid was, that. Time. I was gonna say actually, uh, Hbox uses a lot of those neutralers because of the way you can like trade with them and then drift in and out. Makes them relatively safe, and it's like a good hitbox to threaten every it's, so often. It's, it's lasting. Lasting. Yeah, yeah, it's lasting, and it'll consistently get the trades. Yeah. So that's what he really wants. And because of how low knockback it has, sometimes you get like another hit off of it. Oh, oh my god, he god. almost caught him with that up smash again. He's been doing such a good job of catching the landings. Oh, catch the oh, jump. Uh, it's too high of a percent for the, the upper to be setting up, though. That's only really low percents that upper to rest is going to be hitting. Right. All these turnips forcing him to go high oh, and catches him on the platform. Dude, only 53. Layton looking for the jump, doesn't get it, and that's the end of his invincibility. A really aggressive down air to get back on the stage from uh, Fishbait. Oh, Layton building clean percent right now. Nothing crazy, does yeah. take a risk. Oh, oh, that was a weird, I don't know how that hit. Yeah. Down smash hit, aerial puff. Yeah. I think the one big thing is that um, because he's doing so many backers, Fishbait is like very comfortable in his shield. Oh, man. And you got to threaten empty up grab to really fight off that kind of uh, safety from your opponent. Yeah. Because he was just staying in shield and he didn't mind it. That's why the force smash didn't work either. All right, we got a last there dock. We go. Okay. I think Randall actually just caused that high up beat from Fishbait too. Okay. Oh, okay. Gets the neutraler as he's falling in. 
Oh, dude. Oh, that's so fast. Yeah, especially when you get the power shield on top of it. Okay, oh, oh we got the mood lighting. Jim and the lights for the last stock. Oh, dude, this, those forward airs. Oh, that's, that's it. That's, that's not it, the best yeah. DI. A right. little mini pop-off from Fishbait. Right. Peach over Puff in round one pools here. Nice. Well done, well done. Showing proficiency in the matchup. Yeah. He knew what he was doing. Yeah. Great uh, just recognition of space. Didn't Good. allow himself to get tomahawk grab like you said very much. Yeah, yeah and I think I think I think tomahawk grab could have been threatened a little bit more. Yeah, I, I like. But there's so many times he was just in shield, getting back aired, back aired, back aired, and yeah. the one mix-up he tried was forward smash. But he's gonna stay in shield, right? I think more more drill and more tomahawk. Yeah, uh, to to get the shield. Because yeah. the drill up smash, like you pointed out, was like a very good. He uh, did get it the KO. one time, and drill is incredible at shield poking to setting up those KOs. That's right. Yeah. And because it lasts so long, you can go to either side of the shield, at least dwindle down the shield a little bit. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Well, I, hey, it's hyped to get a close set. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more melee singles action. <laughs> Why is this always the I end? Like <laughs>